the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. Of course, we're trying to do that all the time as we go through our life, go through the day. But we can focus directly on the mind when we're sitting here with our eyes closed much more easily. We're developing mindfulness, we're developing alertness, and we're developing some ingenuity. As you try to get the mind to settle down, you've got to figure out what does the mind like right now and what can I give it that'll make it want to settle down. Because concentration that's based simply on force is not going to last very long. You want there to be a sense of desire, a sense of liking what you're doing. The Buddha said this is the first of what they call, he calls the basis of success. You find some enjoyment in what you're doing. So think of the breath in a way that'll help you enjoy the breath. Think of it bathing the whole body. It's not just coming in and out through the nose, but it's going down the skin, going down through the intestines, going down through all the organs. And you're sitting here in the midst of this nice bathing breath energy. If you don't like that perception, you can try something else. But the important thing is to give the mind something it likes, something that anchors it here in the present moment, some aspect of the body that makes the mind want to stay here, gets it fascinated in what's going on in the present moment. If you have a chronic disease or a chronic pain or a wound of some kind, think of the breath healing it. If bees have stung you, think of the the breath energy going through the area that's swollen up. You've got a wound of some kind, think of it helping to heal, heal the wound. In other words, realize that the breath actually has an impact on the body. And so what does the body need right now? Well, give it that. And this way the mind stays with a sense of interest. So you've got the desire, you've got the interest, you've got your ingenuity. All that's left is persistence, and you have all four of the bases for success. So you stick with it. This way the meditation begins to develop. And it turns into a skill as you learn how to figure out your own mind, how to catch your mind. Years back I was talking to a monk who, when he was a layperson, had to hunt for his own food. It was interesting, the way he hunted for the different animals was he tried to figure them out. What was their psychology? That was it. He was able to catch them. Well, think of the psychology of your mind. What enables you to catch it so it wants to stay here in the present moment? When you learn how to psych out your own mind like this, that's a huge step in developing discernment. <laughs>